हेलो स्टूडेंट आई एम मीर गोंडलिया एंड यू आर वाचिंग स्कूल ऑफ फिजिक्स टुडे वी विल टेक वन एग्जांपल ऑन फूरियर सीरीज विथ पीरियड टू एल प्रॉब्लम ऑन फूरियर सीरीज विथ पीरियड टू एल Find the Fourier series of a function defined in interval minus two to two, where f of x equal to two for minus two less than x less than zero, and f of x equal to x for zero less than x less than two. It is very clear that this function is neither even nor odd. Though you have doubt, then follow this process. Let f of x equal to two. For minus two less than x less than zero, say equation one. Take x equal to minus x. Therefore, f of minus x equal to two for minus two less than minus x less than zero. Change the sign of inequalities and signs of all quantities of the interval. Therefore, f of minus x equal to two for two greater than x greater than zero. Inverse the order of interval. Therefore, f of minus x equal to two for zero less than x less than two. Say equation two. Now take second part of the function. That is, f of x equal to x for zero less than x less than two. Say equation three. Take x equal to minus x. Therefore, f of minus x equal to minus x. For zero less than minus x less than two, change the sign of inequalities and sign of all quantities of the interval. Therefore, f of minus x equal to minus x for zero greater than x greater than minus two. Inverse the order of the interval. Therefore, f of minus x equal to minus x for minus two less than x less than zero. Say equation four. From equation one and four, we found that f of x is not equal to f of minus x, and f of x is not equal to minus f of minus x in interval minus two to zero. And from equation two and three, we also found that f of x is not equal to f of minus x, and f of x is not equal to minus f of minus x in interval zero to two. It means function f of x is neither even nor odd. Therefore, we have to calculate all the three coefficients a zero, a n, and b n for representation of the given function in Fourier series. For a zero, a zero equal to one upon l integral minus l to l f of x dx. In our function, f x is divided into two parts, so we will write. A zero equal to one upon l integral minus l to zero f of x dx plus one upon l integral zero to l f of x dx. Putting the values of f of x and l equal to two, therefore a zero equal to one upon two integral minus two to zero into two dx plus one upon two integral zero to two x dx. This two two cancel, and by integrating a zero equal to integration dx, that is x with limit minus two to zero, plus one up integration of x, that is x square by two, with limit zero to two. Substituting the values of limits, a zero equal to into bracket zero minus minus two, plus one up into four minus zero upon two. That is a zero equal to two plus one equal to three. This is the value of a zero. Now a n, a n equal to one upon l integral minus l to l f of x cos n pi x upon l dx. F x is divided into two parts, so we will write a n equal to one upon l integral minus l to zero f x cos n pi x upon l dx. Plus one upon l integral zero to l 
fx cos n pi x upon l dx. Putting the values of fx and l, a n equal to 1 upon 2 integral minus 2 to 0 into 2 cos n pi x upon 2 dx plus 1 upon 2 integral 0 to 2 x into cos n pi x upon 2 dx. This 2 to cancel. Now, integrating we have a n equal to integration of cos n pi x upon 2 that is sin n pi x upon 2 upon n pi upon 2. So, we write here sin n pi x upon 2 upon n pi upon 2 with limit minus 2 to 0 plus 1 half into for integration of this term we will apply the formula of integration by parts that is integration u v dx equal to u v 1 minus u dash v 2. If we compare this integral with this one then here u equal to x and v equal to cos n pi x upon 2. So, by applying this formula we can write here u and u equal to x. So, we write here x into v 1 that is integration of v and v equal to cos n pi x upon 2. Therefore, we write here sin n pi x upon 2 upon n pi by 2 with limit 0 to 2 minus u dash that is differentiation of x which is 1. So, we write here 1 into v 2 that is integration of v 1 that is integration of sin n pi x upon 2 upon n pi by 2. So, we write here minus cos n pi x upon 2 upon n pi by 2 square with limit 0 to 2. Now, putting the values of limits a n equal to sin 0 minus sin minus 2 n pi upon 2 upon n pi by 2 plus 1 half into bracket to sin 2 n pi upon 2 minus 0 upon n pi by 2 plus cos 2 n pi upon 2 minus cos 0 upon n pi by 2 square. Here this sin 0 equal to 0 this 2 to cancel and therefore sin minus n pi which is also 0. Therefore this first term will be 0. Here this 2 to cancel therefore sin n pi and which is 0 therefore this second term will be also 0. In this term 2 to cancel and cos 0 equal to 1 therefore remaining part of the equation is a n equal to 1 upon 2 into bracket cos n pi minus 1 upon n pi by 2 all raised to 2. Now, transfer this denominator parts at numerator. Therefore, a n equal to 1 half into 4 upon n square pi square into cos n pi minus 1. Here, 2 to are 4. Therefore, a n equal to 2 upon n square pi square into cos n pi minus 1. Now, if we take n equal to a 1, then cos n pi equal to 1. And therefore, cos n pi minus 1 equal to 0. Therefore, a n equal to 0 for n a 1. And if we take n equal to odd, then cos n pi equal to minus 1. And therefore, cos n pi minus 1 equal to minus 2. Therefore, a n equal to minus 4 upon n square pi square for n odd. This is the value of a n. Now, b n b n equal to 1 upon l integral minus l to l f of x sin n pi x upon l dx. Since f of x is divided into two parts, so we will write b n equal to 1 upon l integral minus l to 0 f of x sin n pi x upon l dx plus 1 upon l integral 0 to l f of x sin n pi x upon l dx. Substituting the values of f of x and l, we have b n equal to 1 upon 2 integral minus 2 to 0, 2 into sin n pi x upon 2 into dx plus 1 upon 2 integral 0 to 2 x into sin n pi x upon 2 
into dx. These two to cancel. Now, integrating, we have bn equal to integration of sin n pi x upon 2, that is minus cos n pi x upon 2 all upon n pi upon 2 limit minus 2 to 0 plus 1 half into for integration of this term we will apply the formula of the integration by parts that is integral u v dx equal to u v 1 minus u dash v 2. If we compare this integral with this one then here u equal to x and v equal to sin n pi x upon 2. So, by applying this formula we can write here u and u equal to x. So, we write here x into v1 that is integration of v and v equal to sin n pi x upon 2. Therefore, we write here minus cos n pi x upon 2 upon n pi by 2 limit 0 to 2 minus u dash that is differentiation of x which is 1. Therefore, we write here 1 into v2 that is integration of v1 and v1 equal to minus cos n pi x upon 2 upon n pi by 2. So, we write here minus sin n pi x upon 2 upon n pi by 2 raised to 2 with limit 0 to 2. Substituting the values of limits, we have bn equal to minus cos 0 plus cos minus 2 n pi upon 2 all upon n pi by 2 plus 1 half into 2 into minus cos 2 n pi upon 2 plus 0 all upon n pi by 2 plus sin 2 n pi by 2 minus sin 0 all upon n pi upon 2 raised to 2. By simplifying bn equal to minus cos 0 equal to 1 and this 2 to cancel therefore here cos of minus n pi that is cos n pi here this 2 to cancel therefore remaining terms is cos n pi and here 2 to cancel therefore remaining terms is sin n pi which is 0 for any n and this sin 0 is also equal to 0 by simplifying bn equal to 2 into minus 1 plus cos n pi upon n pi minus 2 cos n pi upon n pi which is equal to minus 2 upon n pi plus 2 cos n pi upon n pi minus 2 cos n pi upon n pi. This plus minus terms cancel therefore bn equal to minus 2 upon n pi. This is the value of bn. Now Fourier series is f of x equal to this. Substituting the values of coefficients a0, an and bn and taking l equal to 2, f of x equal to 1 upon 2 into 3 plus summation n equal to odd minus 4 upon pi square n square into cos n pi x upon 2 plus summation n equal to 1 to infinity minus 2 upon n pi into sin n pi x upon 2. Now, in this term, I take minus 4 upon pi square outside the summation and in this term, we take minus 2 upon pi outside the summation. Expanding it, we get f of x equal to 3 upon 2 minus 4 upon pi square into bracket. Here, we take n equal to 1, 3, 5, so on. Therefore, we get cos n pi upon 2 upon 1 square plus cos 3 pi x upon 2 upon 3 square plus cos 5 pi x upon 2 upon 5 square plus so on minus 2 upon pi into here we take n equal to 1 2 3 so on therefore we get sin pi x upon 2 upon 1 plus sin 2 pi x upon 2 upon 2 plus sin 3 pi x upon 2 upon 3 plus so on. This is the required Fourier series of the given function. In next video, we will take one more example on Fourier series with period 2L. Please write your suggestion in comment section. Like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel School of Physics. Thanks.